A lawsuit has been filed after a man dies while in custody at the Lansing jail. As several Lansing police officers accused of restraining the man as he repeatedly told them he couldn't breathe. Here's Fox 2's Dave Spencer. It's just after 1 a.m. on April 11th when a clearly agitated Anthony Hulan is led into a Lansing jail cell by four people. Just leave him alone in the cell. That's an observation cell. That's what it's there for. Arrested for domestic assault and high on meth and ecstasy. Got in a fight with his roommate. He had used methamphetamines the night before, and he had told them he had. And he said, I'm having a bad reaction. I think there was something mixed in with it. He was brought to this cell after eight hours at a hospital. According to the attorney for Hulan's family, the corrections officers were trying to put further restraints on his hands. And in this wrongful death lawsuit, it's alleged they went way too far to put them on. I can't it. Just... One officer is seen kneeling on his upper back near his head. I can't move. They're on him for five minutes and 23 seconds. That's when he stops breathing. You don't put him prone on his stomach and exert pressure on his upper back, his chest, his legs, and his torso while you're trying to put this waist belt on him. It's in their policies and procedures. Policies that the lawyers say were revised 25 years ago after another wrongful death suit occurred in this very cell. In this case, the officers start CPR. They do chest compressions, but that's only one part of CPR. They do no rescue breathing at all. Another eight minutes pass before EMS arrive, but Hulan would never be revived, pronounced dead at the hospital. The medical examiner's report would lead to this lawsuit just now filed. The cause of death was positional asphyxia, basically a George Floyd suffocation, and then the manner of death was homicide. The attorney representing Hulan's family says the last time this happened, back in 1996, Edward Swan's family was awarded $13 million. She says she plans to take this case to a jury. Are you hoping for a similar judgment in this case? Yes. Yeah, $13 million in today's money. We reached out to Lansing City Attorney for comment on Monday evening, but have yet to hear back. Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News.